This question is talked about when the government taxes producers. When that happens, consumers pay a certain portion of that tax, and producers pay a certain portion of that tax. Some teachers call it a tax wedge, other teachers call it tax incidence. Before we answer this particular question, let's take a look at what a tax looks like when the demand is inelastic and when the demand is relatively elastic. These graphs are gonna help us figure out who pays more of this tax. When the demand is relatively inelastic and the supply curve shifts because of a tax, there's gonna be a new price, P1, and a new quantity, Q1. The new price represents the price that consumers pay, but the producers don't get to keep all that, right? There's a tax wedge in between both of them because the vertical distance between the supply curves is the amount of tax per unit. The end result is that consumers pay a certain portion of this tax and producers pay the other portion. Well, the amount consumers pay is the price that went up from PE and over. This is the amount of the tax that consumers pay in higher prices. Since producers don't get PE anymore and they only get down here, then this represents total tax revenue that the producers have to pay. Take a step back and see which one of these is bigger. Consumers. So when the demand is relatively inelastic, consumers pay a larger portion of that tax. In other words, the burden of the tax is more on consumers than it is producers. <laughs> Moron. Now over here, when the demand is relatively elastic, supply shifts to the left, the new price is here, and the new quantity is right there. Producers get to keep this amount down here because they gotta pay that vertical distance, the amount of tax. Consumers pay this portion of the total tax revenue that goes to the government and producers have to pay this down here, right? Why? Because producers used to get PE, but now they're only getting down here. So they're paying more of this tax. When the demand is relatively elastic, the burden of the tax is more on producers. <laughs> Moron, he said it again. You can show the same idea by changing the elasticity of supply. Now let's answer this question. Answer B is correct because the more elastic the demand curve, the more burden is on producers. So if the demand was perfectly elastic or horizontal, the producers would have to pay all the tax.